So I figured I might as well make the uh, video now because if I don't do it now, I'll forget and never do it. But I'm pretty sure I shared this to you before. That's what that little guy started off as. Hollow point, deep hollow point. And that's 401. I think it's like 4015 or 4017. It's just under 402 in diameter. And this is what we recovered from the bucket. And it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty much all there. Oh, um, and the weight on that is, um, I think it's like 178 cranes. 178.2 with lube in it. Now this guy, I was really surprised by this number. 176.4. And I know it's it's kind of hard to believe. I didn't think it was going to be that good. Let's see if I can see that. Sorry, I'm not used to this camera. 176.5. So there's that. And let's put the other guy back up there. That's 178.2. Uh, that's not the right one. Try another one. That's a pure lead guy too. 178.2. One more. 178. Wow, those are really accurate. Holy chicken. So, there's not a, a ton of uh, weight loss on. Sorry, I'm trying to get back on the tripod. There's not a ton of weight lost on that. Um, and surprisingly, the widest I can get it to measure. I didn't count this little ear right here because it kind of folded down. I kind of figured that was something something else going on there. And it's like, I counted that, and you can't really see it because my thing's broken, but I counted that as like 740 with 40 being right about here. Um, it's hard for me to get it in this stupid thing. Let me get it to stay. So even, hopefully it stays, don't fall. So it, it opened up pretty good. There's 745, I think that, or 44 or something like that it is right there. Um, and I think it, it turned out pretty well. Now this is a 10 to 1 alloy. I tried this in clip-on wheel weights, and it didn't work out at all. It fragmented, it gave me like, oh, what was it, 40 grains per bullet, and I only shot two. Now this is the powder-coated guy. Um, I couldn't find any other pieces to the powder-coated guy, and my weight is only 36 grains on those two little pieces. I figured it was going to be about under 40. Um, now, I only did one in powder coat and one in standard lube. I have more in powder coat waiting and ready to go. I might retry that um, just to proof the, uh, the load. Then I have uh, 16 rounds of the standard lube ready to go so I can try and proof them also. Um, so, hopefully, I can... I can get all that stuff going soon and get it proved and make sure that I get the same results every time. Um, now, the big thing with me is I don't think the water's um, a valid, 100% valid test. I think the FBI standard is the uh, ballistics gelatin. I don't have access to any and I do not have any at all. Um, if I can get my hands on some that I might try it or if I can send these to someone then I might try it that way too um, but aside from that I'm pretty happy with the water I mean there's other things I might be able to try but for right now I'm happy with the water I just want to see some some type of expansion um, from from it and see what else I can do like if I can get less expansion with cause there's a smaller profile news uh, hollow point. That's a five. So I, I have this this little hollow point right here, which isn't very big compared to what's in the mold right now. So I mean, you can see how big those are compared to. Uh, I'm sorry, it's hard to see. So 
So I might try these smaller hollow points and see if I can get anything. If I can get the star thing to focus, I'd be really happy. See if I can get any different results with the 10 to 1 alloy. But I definitely think the 10 to 1 alloy is the one to, do, to work with. Um, and as far as lighting goes, I pulled the barrel down and there's no signs of lighting with one shot though. So that's kind of why I went around the 16 and see if there's any signs of lighting after that. If there's no signs of lighting, uh, I'm going to be pretty happy with it and probably load up a decent amount of them and see how many I can actually run before I see signs of lighting or any accuracy problems or anything like that. We'll see what the accuracy is to begin with anyway, but uh, right now I'm just in the stage of trying to get the penetration and the expansion and weight retention I want. And after I'm happy with that, I'm going to try and work up the load and try and find a... Uh, accuracy node but you know everything kind of goes hand in hand with that like your your powder charge kind of goes hand in hand with expansion and weight retention and, you know and accuracy so it, it, it's a battle from both sides that i'm going to try and figure out and try and get the best of all the worlds but everything is a trade-off so if i can um get decent accuracy and expansion and weight retention then i'll be happy so stay tuned